All right, so the new changes coming to the Cisco certification tracks, we focused in on the CCNA because that's what most of us are actually pursuing. But there is something also happening with the CCNP. If you wanna learn a little bit more, stick with me on this quick bite from IT Pro TV. All right, so what in the world is also happening with the CCNP track in the new Cisco changes that are coming? Well, you still have access to the different multiple CCNP tracks that are actually there. But the neat thing about it is that you only now have to take two exams to earn your CCNP. Now, what that means is that you'll have a core exam in your field of specialization, and then you actually take another specialization exam as well. Let's take a look at some of the details. So on the professional certifications page, you actually see that there's updates to the actual professional certification track. And it's right here in this very first paragraph that now each CCNP only requires two exams one core exam and one concentration exam of your choice. So that means if you choose something like CCNP Enterprise, if I scroll down here, I'll be able to see that I have one particular core exam that I have to take and I can choose any one of these to also focus in on and that will earn me my CCNP Enterprise. Now, if I do something like this, I might be asking myself, well, I'm in the middle of my CCNP should I stop and just take two exams instead of the three I'm going to take? Well, the great thing is each one of these tracks, you can actually see they'll provide a particular migration tool and the migration tool will help you out. It will allow you to see if you're only partially through your certification track as of February 24th of 2020, you'll see what you have to do to earn your new CCNP enterprise. You take the core exam and you take another one of these. But what if you actually decide that you're gonna earn the whole thing before, well, next February 24th. If you do so, you will end up earning the CCNP Enterprise, and you also gain two particular specialization uh, tracks or uh, certifications as well. So this will help you out. So whether you're doing this for CCNP security, whether you're doing it for collaboration, whether you're doing it for enterprise, or the idea of service provider or security again, okay? All those are actually have one single core exam and then another specialization, and that will get you through your CCNP and the new certification changes that are coming up. All right, so I'm Ronnie Wong, and that's been a quick bite from IT Pro TV.